Miesi Allah pledges support for Southeast Governors. The Miesi Allah Castle Breeders Association of Nigeria, Magban, has pledged to always cooperate with governors of the five Southeast states to live in peace with their communities in the zone. This was contained in a Idu Malud message by the Southeast chairman of the group, Alaji Gidado Sidiki, on Monday in Oka, Anambra. He urged members cattle breeders across the country to use the occasion to pray for continued peace, unity among their host communities. Sidiki commended the Southeast governors of Aba, Abia, Anambra, Eboyi, Enugu, and Imo State, the traditional rulers in the communities and other community leaders, for their support to the association. In a message made available to reporters in Oka to mark the 2019 Idu Malud in commemoration of the birth of Prophet Muhammad, the Mieti Allah leaders said they were happy in Igbo land. The highest respect Muslims all over the world can give in remembrance of Prophet Muhammad is to follow his footsteps of non-violence, peaceful disposition, and remarkable virtues of patience and love for one another. Prophet Muhammad was a paragon of peace, humility, and justice for all. And as we honor him, let us follow his examples in words and in actions by promoting tolerance, love, harmony, and peace coexistence in the country. Mieti Allah appreciates the Southeast governors, traditional rulers, and other community leaders for their support given to the association in the zone. He said, We are assuring host communities and our members that my leadership will continue to collaborate with security agencies in the five eastern states of Habia, Anambra, Enugu, Imo, and Eboin to guarantee the safety of lives and property. We have no other country like us. So it's pertinent for all Nigerians, irrespective of religious background, to live in peace with one another, Siddiqui said. So guys, uh, uh, I, I don't understand this uh, Mieti Allah or Magban, they call themselves, because they have a different, different leaders, you know, at different zone, And the, the uh, whether it's the overall uh, Magban leader, who is always a Budeju, is always coming out with threats. He's always coming out with threats. But one thing I again I just discover or I just have been pondering upon is that why is it that these guys are always, you know, they just love they like what he said. He said their host communities they want to live, you know, in a peaceful manner with their co their their host uh, communities. I see no reason why these areas are very very small compared to their own side. Does it mean they don't have land, or does it mean the grass in South is, is more better than what they have over there? Because most of the time they still bring their cows all the way from the north to all these areas, most, most especially Southeast. The way and manner at which they are operating in Southeast, you know, it's not really other rampant in other communities, in other regions. Because most of the time you always hear, oh, this is what is happening. The herdsmen did this, the herdsmen did that in mostly Southeast. Uh, zone does it mean the the land in southeast is very nutritious the ground is very fertile the grasses are very i don't know nutritious that's you know most especially this uh, the cdk of a man is always coming out with a uh, uh, sweet words words of peace irrespective of what their leader overall has been saying the kind of threat they always give us most times is always coming out as if there's something in that uh, that southeast that they are they are really looking for it's very very difficult for them to just move out because when people are telling you all the time that they don't even want you guys most especially when it comes to you people want to come and have a, a big or larger settlement or this uh, open grazing uh, of cows yet they are just like bent that they must be there whether by peace or whatever it's in as much as it's going to be by peace they just want it they just want to be there so I don't know what is so special about uh, this uh, South uh, is uh, people and their land that these guys they don't just want to live. There's something these guys really love about South East, South East people. There's something I don't know whether they have a a, a mission or it is out of you know mere mere love or there's something they are gaining or the South East region is making them prosperous. Because they are always bent, we just want to stay here. 
when they are coming all the way from uh, north most times i don't know if i'm if i'm wrong you might correct me you don't uh, usually see them or i've not really had about the clashes you know so rampant compared to what happens in southeast they are always coming to the southeast and you know want to have a, a settlement there and these guys say we don't want we don't even want all this uh, whatever you are talking about so but their leader overall leader bodejo he will come out and say all the governors if they want peace they must give them land whether these guys they are trying to play on their intelligence we don't know just like i said i don't even know why they are bent in staying in in, in southeast like they said they said they are going to be law abiding they want to live peaceful um because of uh, their celebration because of their prophets they want to do everything that their prophets you know stands for peace humility and all of that that every of their members should emulate their prophets both in words and in actions not just to speak it but they need to act it so their overall leader bodejo is always coming out with threat he has said every all the governors if they don't give them land that they will know no peace so where do all these uh, magma where do they function are they not don't they hear what their leader is saying and thank god the all the southeast governors the southwest governors the middle best and south south they've come and said there's nothing you are going to do no matter how you threaten or you try to intimidate or whatever that they don't have land for you so now that this man is always coming because i've taken time to you know I've been seeing most of his comments most of the time he's always coming out with peace with this and that he always promised the southeast governors that they are going to be law abiding whatever they ask them to do they are going to do it and so that they will be able to stay in that particular place so that is my opinion in as much he's talking something different and there are other colleagues whether the man is the overall leader of magban he's always saying the opposite of what this sdk is always stand for and is always talking about so it's really a surprising thing someone says listen we don't need you in southeast at all carry your problem to your zone hmm. anybody who fall again to the lies from these people should fall the more and break his spinal cord don't trust their good money he said muhammad was a peaceful man and some people will be and some people will believe him you are not welcome around us full and is god forbid may your bust your screw may you bust your screw turn in jesus name hmm. please jo keep your commendations we are not interested in your greek offer commenda commendations we don't want killers who have sold their conscience to the devil nobody is disturbing you but you are the ones disturbing others i hope south east governors have never have never secretly giving these people land hmm. let's breed their cows in sambisa there are enough grass for their cows there than coming to the south is to destroy our crops any eastern governor who allow these people into their state will answer for the blood of innocent people they are killing on a daily basis you know just like the question i asked i don't know whether the grass in the south is are so nutritious or anytime they come to south east they are always you know they are always uh, prospering maybe that is why they are always i don't know because when you talk of the land mass they have it over there if people you know the host community you are always coming to because most of the time even like what somebody said nobody is always disturbing them they are the one they are the ones who always come to encroach you know they don't want to stay in a particular place they just want to be moving from places to places and that's where the problem is always coming from that is why people are not too happy with them nobody is disturbing them but they will they always pass their boundary they pass their boundaries that's why we always hear all this a uh, 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 noise all the time so someone say pretending to be good stay away from the middle belt and south never never and never again this is a bermudian triangle trap it will sink the south is if they foolishly fall to this trap hmm. i laugh in deserts where is the peace all we see wherever islam is practice is war and conversion of people through force he said the highest respect muslims all over the world can give in remembrance of prophet muhammad is to follow his footsteps on non-violence peaceful disposition and remarkable virtues and patience and love for one another the above statements conflict with some of the teaching of islam about 
what they called infidels. Hmm. It is laughable to describe Prophet Muhammad as lo lovable, peaceful. Please read history. We are students of history too. Sadans, Sadanas, watch out, else you will be overtaken. God bless Nigeria. Mieti Allah knows what they can't repeat. Uh, Benue's massacre in Southeast states all they need to do is to obey the laws of the land in the Southeast. As our people doing business in the North obeys theirs, anything short of that will be resisted by the Southeastern people. Hmm. What Prophet Muhammad follow is is what you you people follow. Hmm. Yes, that is what you people are uh, against all the Christian states. Never any Muslim here. Uh, here saying that Muhammad is a peaceful unless the history was telling us lies about him and his life of uh, antecedents or something. So guys, um, a lot of people are not really falling for this. Uh, that they, you know, it's difficult for to believe this. That it's, it's too, it's too sweet to believe. It's too true to believe because you know we have been seeing different, different things. So it's not left for the Southeast governors, you know, if they want to go with them if they want to believe them it is not left for them so guys i would like to hear from you what you think about this uh, a statement from miyeti allah you know telling pledging support for southeast governors thank you bye